Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the lab and today I have a really really special video. This is part 2 of my super crazy uh, AC uh, power supply, uh, almost 3000 watts of raw power uh, that it can output. I really hope you enjoy these couple of uh, updates I have right here. There's more videos coming, I promise, and uh, yeah, sit back and enjoy. So this is another update. Uh, I've been doing uh, something else on the side. Uh, I had to stop the project for a couple of hours. But uh, essentially, what we have is uh, this is day two, and um, I don't know when this video will come out, but uh, we're doing pretty good. So uh, the plan was to do a enclosure like this for a. Uh, transform now uh, what's going on is uh, pretty much the transformer is pretty big now uh, it fits nicely in the enclosure and I discovered rivets for myself makes your life a lot easier so we got the rivets on the side and uh, there as well and uh, essentially what we're doing is uh, we have the front panel here and uh, this will go on there like so. So there will be a amp meter which will be measuring uh, input amps because I don't have the amp meter that is capable of measuring output amps. So we can only measure the input amps. Uh, for a output, I decided to do uh, so something like this. So it's a bracket uh, like that and we have five uh, rivets holding the thing like so. All right, so this will be our output for the power supply. Uh, the wires just nicely come on the back uh, and they will be insulated and all of that. So uh, that is that. Uh, we also have two uh, buttons like this. Let me actually focus closer. There we go. So uh, we have two buttons like this, which I bought on eBay. Now, unfortunately, I got scammed and there's no contacts for them. So what I figured out is uh, I will take one of these uh, micro switches from uh, ranges and we will glue them on the back so we get nice clicky action. Uh, that works rather well. So I had already drilled uh, the holes for uh, the switches and uh, uh, yeah, we're gonna have two buttons so uh, we will have a start stop station uh, which is not really essential but will be a nice touch so let me just show you the circuit diagram so this is the circuit diagram this is so far the theory I don't know if it will work or not so uh, we have our neutral coming in like that and our ground coming in uh, and they get connected like so now uh, we have our hot coming in, coming through a, a 19 amp circuit breaker and uh, I believe you will have a neon light bulb uh, for it to tell us if it's stripped or it's off. And then uh, we have our start stop circuitry with some uh, switches uh, coming uh, here. Uh, this is a temperature switch on the transformer so we can't take that out. Uh, we have our control relay which is that uh, another neon, neon light bulb to tell us when it's on and uh, yeah 
this is the secondary side so I believe you'll put more turns on the transformer to drive the fan so we can have a speed control and this is our main 50 volt AC output which will be coming here so all of that is quite clever and I will continue working on it and yeah I'll show you when I'm done we are getting closer and closer to the end of this uh, beautiful power supply so we got the front panel done uh, all nicely drilled uh, polished and all that as well as uh, we have some other uh, things going on uh, there inside so as you can see this is the inside of our power supply that works out pretty good now this is the top plate beautifully made uh, countersinked holes for um, the what are called screws on the top the plate beautifully fits over the top and this is the overlook of the power supply now I still hadn't hooked up anything yet but this is the general idea of how I want uh, the power supply to be uh, case itself is pretty heavy for a case uh, it's all mini but uh, the weight is about um, I'd say three to four pounds maybe so that's quite heavy for a case but it's a aluminium so um, that's a plus uh, yeah we're almost done uh, all we need to do is hook everything up and I also have some black mesh to go on the back and we have to figure out how to do the fan thing but yeah we're almost done and I'm really excited in case you're wondering if this is a road sign this is not the road sign uh, this is a sign from a company wherever it is they throw it out in the dumpster so it ended up being in my lab so that's not stealing don't get me wrong so what I will do is I will place uh, the transformer inside just like so it's a heavy one again this is how it looks from uh, the back side uh, all the holes had been drilled for the transformer all we have to do is just bolt it down with some M4 bolts and uh, that's pretty much it we gotta put it back a uh, mesh here and I will show it to you it's gonna look like this black mesh to our airflow in and out and uh, yeah you gotta cut it out and yeah I don't know I'm so proud of this thing this is incredible so guys that's about it for this video you all know what to do like it if you like it dislike it if you dislike it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you hadn't subscribed already and yeah you're going to see some of my other videos on your screen i really hope you click on some of them and you'll make me the happiest person ever and uh, yeah as always see you in the next video